I'm synthetic. Nothing human left. Oh god in damn it. Me. That's a that's a brave way to admit to having implants. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> No emotion, just startled too. Left who I was back there with you. Maybe I moved, maybe I died, and I kept moving. <laughs> it's a pretty dark song. <laughs> Knocked my love into the ground. Hope is never could be found. Body slowly shutting down. And now I am, yeah. Still alive, but I can't feel. That got spots inside, but it's not real. And I keep moving, but I'm synthetic. <laughs> then you I'm about to sell your to mouth me. shut. <laughs> it's a good song. I need to send it to you. Are you singing like... the, uh, the, what is it, that famous Tramp song, or is it something else? No, it's called Synthetic by The Midnight. Oh. And, and by the way, Ellie, your master <laughs> sent me th this band, so meh. Um... Why does that affect me in any way, shape, or form? Because you didn't give it a chance. Your master approves. So my master also approves of Vor. That doesn't mean I'm going to go out and eat people. <laughs> Point taken. I wouldn't put yeah. it past you if you did, though. So. Being completely honest here. Ask all. Favorite cereal so far. Mine is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cocoa honey, Puffs. Honey Bunches of Oats. Oh, Cinnamon yeah. Honey Bunches crunch. of Oats. Definitely. Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> I like cinnamon. Yeah. I was never really that big on cereal. The only cereal that I found myself actually enjoying after a while was definitely Honey Bunches of Oats, because I would eat the shit out of that. Oh, fuck yeah. Gotta love the nuts. The nut. Okay, I got a new, I got a better, <laughs> I got a different question. Which, which cereal do you guys eat without the milk? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Or Blueberry Muffin Tops. Fruit Loops and Apple Jacks. I can never eat Fruit Loops again. Why? Why would happen? Okay. Go from first grade to 11th grade with the only fucking breakfast your dad will buy is motherfucking Fruit Loops. Oh, that's all he bought. Oh, oh yeah, no, that, well, that, that'll, the, do that'll do it. That'll do it. Yeah, that'll do it. Talk about total insanity there. Fucking hell. You no, know, even my mom changed things up. She would buy Cocoa Puffs one week. She'd buy Fruit Loops another, Apple Jacks another, uh, Tricks. How do you. Tricks, what do you yeah. Call those? Tricks, yeah, okay. They were, they, tricks. they were just tricks. Okay, um, I think Cookie Crisp. She bought Cookie Crisp. Uh, French Toast was one at one point. Reese's Cup cereal. Yeah, but. I mean, automatically, my favorite was Coca Puffs, but I, I like to try new things. So, yeah, my mom always bought something different. Yeah, have a sense of variety. No, you yeah, want to I like talk the, about I a lack of variety. Oh, I could tell y'all another story. Got another culinary story involving my dad. Um, no, can I just say right now, Ellie, that I took one look at your dad and I could tell this is a guy who doesn't like change and certainly doesn't like new things? I don't want change! I don't want change! Oh, Bliss, you just hit the nail on the head because that's exactly what I'm about to talk about. Oh, uh, oh okay, okay. Before you do, before you do, I just want to say this. I totally enjoyed making that speech at your wedding. I met Eliora and Chris online, and you know what? We've been friends for years. Eyes, your dad. <laughs> I want to point out we all made a very big fucking hit oh. towards your dad that we all met online. Fuck you, dad. <laughs> <laughs> and is that what that was about? Yes! Because I noticed every- I did notice that every single one of you made that point as you were coming up to talk. Well, the motherfucker was jabbing about how you and Chris met! Oh, you guys met online, that's not a real relationship. <laughs> Fuck you, Dad! <laughs> <laughs> anyway... I mean, I feel like that's a stigma that a lot of us had to deal with growing up, is that, oh, people you meet online aren't real friends. I'm like, uh, <laughs> I haven't gone to Vegas with anybody that I met in real fucking life. Eat my ass. 
I went to Vegas with these motherfuckers, though. Uh, you right, know who's right, not right. a real? You want? You want to know who's not a real friend? The uh, fucking grade. The fucking middle school girls who were hanging out with me came in, and I came to my house and stole my dad's fucking cell phone. Real friends. Real friends. But anyway, no, Ellie, tell your story. Sorry for hijacking it. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, so like. You know how I'm a good cook. Yes. Um, the reason I, you you really know how I'm a good cook yes. is three bowls. <laughs> yes. Anyway, um. <laughs> anyway, um, the reason I'm a good cook is because I spent majority of my childhood cooking for the siblings after our final nanny left the building. Basically, I was I was like. I was young, but I was also old enough to watch to watch the siblings. So, looking back, it's it's a little bit of a but what well, I'm I'm meandering. Um, so I like to make things that are tasty, make things that are fun and yummy, and let's enjoy dinner. Don't ever don't ever don't ever put garlic in anything that you feed me. What? Also don't also don't no. This is what dad what dad would tell me. Don't ever put anything in uh, garlic in anything you feed me. What? Why was he allergic? He's not allergic. He just, oh, he thinks, just doesn't like it. He, no, he thinks he doesn't like it. Uh, oh, I see where this is going. Okay. He also didn't like it when I and I'm not joking with this. Seasoned the meat. Oh! <laughs> What do you mean you don't like it when you season the meat? That's like half the flavor. Kiss my ass. I, like, like at does, least does he salt like to be, pepper. Does he no, like to go about, fucking bland as hell with the dick? He, it, it's because he didn't think I, I could cook very well. Oh. Oh, wow. motherfucker. Okay. Okay. Humor no, me. No, you know what? You want to know what it took to fucking get him to realize I can fucking cook yeah, you want, no. You want to know on. what it took? Go on. Um, I had, I had to make. Uh, I don't remember what it was. I think it was some sort of pasta dish, mm -hmm. but I had, I made it for him, and it had garlic in it, and he knew it had garlic in it. But he's like, I'll, I'll give her a pity bite, and so he, he tastes it, and he's like, I know there's garlic in here, and I don't hate it. Yeah. Fucking pussy. Will Dickhead. unwilling? Yeah, no, no. He's a pussy, like not owning up. Like, oh, but it doesn't taste bad. So, in other words, you fucking like it, you fucking asshole. No, yeah, no, Brett, that's my Brett, dad. I took show. one look at her dad, and I could tell he was putting on a facade for his little girl's big day. I thank him for that, but I could tell he was faking it through his fucking teeth. I do not like your dad. He had nothing but bad vibes the whole time. Damn near ruined your reception because of his retarded self-entitled speech. <laughs> yeah, that was one of the reasons why we all stood up and did our own speeches. And yes, we intentionally called out the whole online shit because, yeah, he. Mm, I was watching him and you. I'm watching what he. And you. I could tell that he was totally focusing on how he made your wedding a possibility it was all thanks to him that we're all here today you sick motherfucker i do not like you <laughs> he does that a lot with things that i achieve what the hell place is this huh i'm in this weird building and there was a level wait let me see where oh you're in um the cinnabar mansion okay i'm up oh there we go um, you kind of have to get to the end, of, to the top floor of that, and get through like the the statue puzzles, because you need the key from there to get into the Cinnabar gym. Oh. Well. oh hello, guys. I'm gonna tell y'all a story. I've been to Ellie at a Charky's apartment before their big wedding day. This woman cooked for us. She didn't have to, but she did, and she wanted to. She cooked jambalaya. Woo. I did not have one. I did not have two. I had three bowls of her jambalaya. <laughs> this woman knows how to cook. Suck it, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> also, 
remember this is the guy who didn't want who didn't want me to go to culinary school and stop me looking into financial aid to take some college courses. Oh, I really wow. wish you would go back to culinary school. I, I mean, I know it's hard to get out there in the industry, but I know you have what it takes. I do. You love but to cook. I do enjoy cooking, but it's not. I did have a sample of the industry because I. Went through internships, and upon reflection, it is not something for me. I just like cooking okay. for people I mean, and seeing them enjoy it. What if it were like a not like a restaurant where you're you're the owner and you just step back and let the cooks deal with it? But what if it were like a food truck? No, it, it, no, there's, no. It's it's just not something for me, and that's fine. I did try to get into the industry. I failed, not for lack of effort. But it, on reflection, I'm glad that happened. Mm, okay, that's fair. But yeah, jump. Okay, someone doesn't know what jambalaya is. Let me educate you, sir. Jambalaya. Oh, great. Here we go. Is a Louisiana dish, uh, a little spicy, and it's basically uh, kind of like gumbo, but it's filled with rice, and it's got usually sausage and shrimp and mixed vegetables. Has a New Orleans spicy flavor to it. Mm. Did I, did I, did I a oh, oh, fucking kiss my ass. Uh, I'm not drooling. You're drooling. I <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love jambalaya. I don't. I don't eat enough of it. It's hard to find places that cook like that here. And I know New Orleans is right next door to Texas, but that doesn't mean we have restaurants oh, shit. full of New Orleans Your stuff. Oh gonna evolve. Oh wait, no. Uh oh. No wait, it's never mind. What's wrong? No, I. I yeah, no, don't bother learning Slam, because Slam constantly misses. Yeah. I think he thought right at Oh, wait, no, now he is evolved. evolving. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. Here we go. Dragon again. Air. <laughs> Such a pretty Pokemon. It is. And then it Listen, becomes Kane, a heckin' what? chonker. What? <laughs> Chris, what the hell? Carry on. He's the CEO of Activision, by the way. Oh, Monic, then fuck him. Oh my god, that's fucking hilarious. Okay, that's too so, great. to explain what the fuck my life is with this man, uh, he's talking to his friends, and he's he's apparently um, the, uh, the um, president or the owner of Activision or whatever. Ow. He's like, stop, pu stop putting images of me with devil horns on the internet. I can't get a date because of it. <laughs> uh, oh, apparently Maybe with the, the, late, the, the remake of Lady yeah. and Tramp, there's one good thing about it. Huh. All the dogs that are in the movie, most of them are rescued. <sighs> Well, oh, yay, but that doesn't still touching. doesn't speak to the. That I'm glad to hear about rescues, of course, but yeah, yeah that doesn't speak to the quality of the movie. Yeah, yeah fair enough. Don't have all of our dogs, you know, you know what that is. All of our dogs are rescues. Yeah, guess what? Captain Marvel's a woman. Just her saying. Act, her actress is also uh, what? What do you call them? An SJW or? I'm just saying. It doesn't Nobody mean likes shit. her. I'm just saying. <laughs> the yeah, I'm just saying. Captain Marvel. Nobody likes her. <laughs> no, nobody likes working with her. She was a bitch. Oh no, I've heard a lot of stories. Wait. 